This is Kyle O'Quinn. I play for the Orlando Magic, and you're watching Viewability. Well, on the morning of the draft, when we went to Norfolk Academy to talk to the children, I mean, if I don't have the time, I'll make the time in those kind of situations. But that morning, it was a good, it was a good day for me to talk to the kids at my so-called highest peak, at a day that really could change my life. Um, and I tried to give them a message about how important it is to be ready for opportunity and work hard towards your opportunity. And if your opportunity doesn't come when you want, still pursue your opportunity because one day it will come. It was, it, it was good to see them shake their head. I mean, the, the kids were only second grade to seventh grade or something like that. And to see them grabbing that information and shaking their head in acknowledgement to, okay, I'm listening, I'm listening because this guy might have something to say that I might use one day. It, it, it felt great. And then for them to turn that completely off from a student to, to, to a draftee, I mean, they felt like they were getting drafted. They were all running around saying what team they would have went to or if they had a chance to get picked, who they wanted to play with and asking me questions who I wanted to play with, who I wanted to be like, and things like that. I mean, they were completely joined in the experience with me. Well, naturally on days that I, I'm in Virginia, I don't have a lot, um, especially during this pre-draft process. When I come home, it's just a couple of days, so I like to sharpen up on my skills. So we tried to make, the, we tried to make it as normal as possible. Well, obviously on the day of the draft, you don't typically go in the gym, but to go in the gym and try to keep our day as normal as possible and work on some things. And the guys that I work out with, those are guys that I've been working out with since I've been here. So those are good guys to share the day with. I mean, keeping your day pretty simple and keeping it with the same people you've been keeping it with. I mean, I don't know what I've done with those with that with that amount of time. I mean, I would probably just been more nerve wracking and thinking about the draft and thinking about the outcome more and more. So to go in the gym, I mean, it really eased my mind for that two two and a half hours, three hours that we were in there. So. That, 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 was, that was big, that was big because I got my mind off it and I was actually getting better with the guys that I've been working out with for many years. Well, Mr. Verando, he been, he's, been, he's been on my case for these past couple of weeks. When you gonna get in, when you gonna get in? You gotta think, that's, that's his profession. So to make that suit perfect, it was, it, it was really what he wanted to do. I mean, he's been texting and calling and, and letting me know that that suit was ready and it's ready to be perfected after it came from the, from the factory. He wanted to make the right, right alterations and things to it. So um, to go see him, it was like a, okay, Mr. Verando, I'm here. All right, work your magic. Um, for him to put that suit on me and it fit to the T almost on the first try, it was like, man, you're really good at this. It's, it's, it's just a tremendous blessing for him to really help me out in that area. I mean, a lot of guys been coming, but a, a, a Norfolk guy, like a, a local guy to help, want to help you out, it, it, it means a lot. It means a lot. It, it, it's real genuine. It's real genuine. I mean, it's not an agency or a clothing company coming at you letting you know, hey, we can make suits. It's a, it's a homegrown guy ready to just help somebody to make that next step in their career and that's what he did. I mean that suit was that suit was beautiful. I mean I want to thank Mr. Verando a, a lot for that. I've been going to Exclusive Cuts Barbershop to see Tim for maybe the past three years. I mean he's been he's been a great support. The barbershop has been a great support system for us during the up and downs they that's a place you have to go. You have to get shop. You have to go to the barbershop. So for, to always go there and know that support is coming every time you go get a haircut, maybe it's once a week, twice a week, you always want to revisit the barbershop. And on the biggest day, I mean, I had to get shop. So to see him before I left was a must. I mean, I go up there sometimes, I don't even need a haircut. Everybody knows you got to stop at Dion's. I mean, if you don't need a haircut, if you just stopping by, you can't go past that. You can't go through that light without stopping at Dion's. I mean, he cut my hair occasionally, not as much as Tim does, but he still is my. He still, I still consider him my barber. But he's just a local guy that loves seeing success. He loves up, down, wherever. I mean, he 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 just loves being in the mix. And and Dion, he he deserves that right. I mean. He, he, was a, he was a guy that really helped out Twan when they made their run on the ch state championship. That's how I was introduced to him. So a good guy like that, you always want to keep in your corner. I mean, from the highest people to the lowest people, everybody goes to Dion. So that was a must-stop shop right there. Well, when we first got to the house, I mean, my mom and them were still setting up and, and they were still making arrangements around the house and things. I just knew that we were closing in on draft time. I mean, the, I, look at the, I look at the clock, it's getting closer to seven. 
I look at them and they're looking closer to finish. My agent's in and out of the room. He's on the phone. He's talking. He's on the phone. He's he's giving me thumbs up. He's winking at me. I'm like, okay. Well, it's going well, but the draft's still going on. At some point, it's going to end. I sat right between my parents, and that, I think that's a that was a real relaxing moment because they knew something had to be going well for me to come back and sit down between my parents and have a smile on my face. I couldn't hold it in. And after that, my name scrolled across the bottom of the TV, and there you go. Lighthouse, still there for now, but uh, looking forward to going down there. You know, what are some of the first things you're going to be doing down there in Orlando? Well, grass, grass, grass as much as I can, real quick. I mean, I'm, I'm, going, I'm about to, touch, I'm about to go into a new experience as far as being a rookie. Um, the things I had to tell freshmen this season for us to have this good season, people got to tell that to me. So to go there and get information and grasp everything, being professional. Um, the more you get, the, the longer you stay, I, I, I believe. Um, that's who lasts in the league. That's who lasts in, in college. So to go to, 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 to take a step down on the totem pole and start from the bottom and, and, wanna, and be hungry enough to work my way up to the top, that's the, that's the first thing I'm looking forward to do. It's just crazy being a former teammate, you know, playing with him at uh, Norfolk State. I mean, he's a hard worker. Um, I'm just blessed that it happened to him. It could happen to a better person, you know. I wish him the best, and, you know, I'll be here as long as he want me. He's in a great, great position. He's in a great state, playing with a great team. He's finally getting his opportunity, and I'm really happy for him. I think it means great things for kids in our neighborhood who looked up to Kyle, saw him as just a knucklehead kid. It shows that hard work does pay off, and dreams do come true. I enjoyed the ride, nerve-wracking, but thank God it's over and all is well. Ultimately, he got an education along with playing at London to play ball. And that was the best thing about it. And now he has a career to hopefully make some money at it. Yeah, it was definitely, definitely an uphill battle. I mean, I didn't get nervous too much because I knew that Kyle would take care of business just like a professional would. He did everything that was asked for him by his agent. You know, he went out and worked hard every city he went to. I think it's ironic that the Orlando Magic picked him and he didn't work out for them. He worked out for 20 teams, I believe, and the Orlando Magic was the one that gave him an opportunity. Everybody know Antoine's my man. That, that's, that's, I mean, that's how you sum it up. I can't call him my best friend, my brother, all those. Those are understatements. He's my man, period. And, and, and I call him Perry because sometimes he gets in his professional, professional ways. He likes to work the phone and, hey, Kyle, what do you want to do here? What do you want to do there? Todd is like my unofficial manager. And not, and not because this is going on. He's always been like that. He's, a bit, he's been a big brother in my eyes for a while now. I mean, he always wants to, he always wants to make sure everything in Kyle O'Quinn's life is all in order. And that's why, that's why Todd is my man. He always, he always got my back. He really worked hard and became a very good basketball player. But you know, uh, for me, he's a better person uh, than he is a basketball player. I think that in life, uh, God has really blessed him uh, with his people skills and uh, I believe he's gonna go a long ways. It means so much to see a kid like that, that's so deserving of what's happening for the kind of things that are happening, to happen in his life. He's made preparation. He has an opportunity. He's going to be successful as a result of his hard work. And so I thank God for uh, the coaches, uh, everybody that played a role in to helping him get to the place that he, he is today. And I'm looking forward to Kyle reaping the benefits of all of his hard work.